Okay, let's go into uh, installing Silent Hunter 4 into Ubuntu. First of all, we're using the file manager Nautilus. You right-click setup.exe, select uh, Wine to install it with the Wine program installer, and we're now waiting for it. And here it comes, just as if you were in Windows. That's you know, you can pick English here if you want to. And stuff loads. Welcome to the install wizard for Silent Hunter, Wolves of the Pacific. Uh, are you going to accept this thing? Yeah, you probably ought to. Go ahead and select OK. Hit the button. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and uh, install it into the default location. You notice how unexciting this is. It looks just like Windows. We will not install um, the. Uh, Game Studio there, or we will not install Acrobat Reader 6, which is a little bit old. We'll install everything else. And let her rip. Now we've taken a few pauses in the middle of this, so this goes relatively quickly. Um, you can see it's installing absolutely normally, just as a wooden windows. No surprises here, nothing to talk about. Game go. And it's very busy now. Did a lot of pausing in here just so it wouldn't be as uh, unexciting as it is. Sorry about that. I'm sure you've installed things before, and that's how it works. You notice we're not doing anything special to install this. We're just pretending it's Windows and installing with no settings changed or anything. This is just under default Wine 1.6.2, which is a couple of versions behind. It works just fine. Don't mess with it. Wine is a, well, Wine stands for Wine is not an emulator. Um, it's not a virtual machine. It's not an emulator. What is it? We don't know. All we know is it runs Windows darn fast and works with a lot of games. exciting video there with no files changing or anything but I hit the pause button and now we're further on in the process da -ba -da -ba -dum. now we're just installing the base game right here I bought the game back when it was just 1.0 and uh, we install it and then you have to do all the patching well patching is not an issue because the U-Boat uh, missions uh, add-on adds all of the patches 1.2 uh, through 1.5 so therefore, uh, DirectX, go ahead and accept the agreement. Let it install DirectX, just to make sure it's totally compatible. And there we go there, installation complete, hit finish. And then Windows Media Format 9. So go ahead and install that, say yes. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that too. Zoom. It's installed. Let it rip. Add a shortcut to the desktop. And that's all we're going to do. We're not going to run the game. Hit finish. Uh, never register since it's already registered. Okay. And now let's see what we have here. We be done. Thank you very much.